everyone, it's Magdalena. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is the view from my new window, from my very own room. Because when we were living in a flat, um, I used to do all my stuff in, the, in our shared bedroom, but now I'll have a room to myself. There are my tarot decks and my other like Lenormand decks, candles and more stuff to come and Sailor Pluto because I mean seriously you need a Sailor Pluto in your life. <laughs> Jokes aside, today I wanted to share with you and also uh, quite a few of you, quite, quite a couple of you dear viewers were excited about my uh, video about Polish decks that I own. So yeah, and I'm excited to film it too. So I um, counted and I have six decks that are made in Poland. And where do I start? Uh, I'll try not to, like I won't be doing like f full flip throughs. However, if you are interested in one of these decks and you would like me to make a flip through, I can do that. I think I did um, walkthroughs of, of these two. So this this one is the most popular one abroad, I would say. So this is the Dark Mansion Tarot. And it's one of, of my favorite tarot decks. I have the regular version, so it's the smaller one with black edges. And it's done by Taroteca Studio. So the graphic artist is Magdalena Kaczan and production and substantive consultations Krzysztof Wasiuk. So this deck, this deck, you guys, I love it so, so much. It's so rich in details, rich in humor, which I love. And yeah, it's just fun to use these cards. They always make me smile. And the cardstock is really good, even though I don't, I'm not a fan. Surprisingly, I'm not a fan of this matte finish because I like when, when the cards are more, you know, smooth. But I got used to it and now I'm pulling my cards by just doing this, okay? And Okay, so this is like my first card, then this is my second card, because other otherwise they are all like clumped together, and and it's and it's not so easy to pull them. But this is my only complaint about this deck. I love it to bits. I'm very proud that it was made in Poland by very talented people. So yeah, one of my favorite favorite decks, and I don't really don't regret. Uh, getting it because you know it's also it's a Rider Waite Smith based deck and like how many Rider Waite Smith based decks do I need and I was like no I saw this and I have to have it so I don't regret it I'm using it a lot and enjoying myself so this is the Dark Mansion Tarot and now this little deck I also made a like full walkthrough of it it's the Polish crystal deck, Kamienie Wróżą. And it's a tiny little thing with gorgeous, beautiful images. And each of the cards has a crystal and like um, expression of the um, crystal's property in, uh, in a picture. Also with... Um, including the colors of the crystal. So this is malachite, this is turquoise, this is amber. So you can feel, you can really feel. Um, this is rose quartz. Um, yeah, the color, the colors are stunningly, stunningly accurate. Emerald. And where is the, there is one card that is usually, oh yeah, it's a favorite. Of many people and it's this cute owl on the jet card so yeah if you're interested I think there is a 
PDF somewhere in on the interwebs <laughs> available uh, with uh, a little white book translated into English. And it's a very cool deck. Oops, forgot that. And it's yeah. Where is the author's name? It's not here. Oh well, but I have a walkthrough of that, so you can check it out. There is a um, like uh, deck reviews and walkthroughs playlist on my channel, so you can see it. Now I wanted to show this little deck, and these are playing cards with uh, Polish folk uh, motifs. So this is Polish folk art. As you can, yeah, <laughs> the same thing in Polish when you have English here, and it's made uh, made in Krakow by Karta Mundi, and. Yeah, and these are adorable. These are the bags with those paper cuttings motifs of the flowers. And each card uh, has such a gorgeous decoration. The ace, the queen. So the queens and the court cards are, well, they are basically the same, but they are just, you know, turned a bit and have different colors, the, I mean details are different, like the rooster has a different tail here, but still they are just gorgeous. I suppose this goes like this. So yeah, I love them. It just, I don't remember where I got them, probably somewhere at the airport, you know, in a souvenir store, but it's a really cool deck and very, very Polish. Like, can you get any more Polish? <laughs> and yeah, this is how it shuffles. It's just your regular playing cards deck. So yeah, oh, the Joker has these birdies here. Cute. And now, oh, this one has featured already many times on my channel because it's my first ever deck. And this is the Polish Tarot by Aleksandra Jaśniak and painted by Anna Gałuszka. I edged it gold, but I've had it probably longer than 20 years now. So you can see that it's worn. I tried to like put some gold here to to make it look better, but it didn't look better, so I stopped. <laughs> I tested on like spare cards at first. So this is a pip deck. I'm not sure if I did a walkthrough of this deck or not. It is possible. It's the hermit, the magician. I'm actually thinking about getting a back at backup copy of this deck because only because I'm worried it will get out of print and and this one is already a bit worn so I don't know just thinking I only have one backup copy of of a tarot deck anyway mm, and it's the Hodorowski come one and it's mostly because well I love this deck but also it's because when I was buying it it was not like readily available on Amazon or Book Depository, you had to order it directly from the maker and they had this like sale that it was really cheap to buy two decks. So I did. <laughs> so I have one backup copy of that deck. And other than that, I don't tend to buy backup copies, but with this one, I'm considering it. So yeah, this is my Polish, uh, it's called Polish Terror. And then I have this one that I got from my friend Asha from Monomqua channel. I think she, uh, this, this is her, her bag. It was not together in the set, but it matches so, so well. It's a symbol um, that some um, Polish Slavic pagans use as their, their faith symbol. 
It's called the so-called um, Hands of God. And yeah, so this one is very interesting. It is a Slavic Oracle, Wyrocznia Słowiańska, by Lech M. Fazy Stefanski. And, and you, you can see this is the same symbol here. And it is a set of a book, uh, cards, and this little um, piece of cardboard <laughs> that you can use. It um, the the idol of Zbruch, um is represented here. I have this copy here. So this is one of the most famous Slavic sculptures ever. And many people believe that it represents um, how Slavic people saw the universe. Generally speaking, there are two goddesses, two gods. And in the original, yeah, it's slightly less detailed, but yeah, there should be a, a little person here. But anyway... It looks like this, so it's represented here, and um, and you can use it for laying your cards, uh, depending on like, the sphere of your life you want to ask about. So either it's home or um, some struggles, stuff like that. And this is the unknown, and yeah, it's it's pretty interesting. And what is cool about this deck, it uses um, like existing Slavic artifacts. And um, it gives you like oracle meanings for it. So it's pretty cool. <laughs> when... What I don't like about it, it doesn't have anything like any name or number so <laughs> once you pull the card and you want to find it is like you have to look for the picture which is wait a minute where is it? yeah so it's very very inconvenient to look for so i'm thinking if I'm to like use it regularly, I will add some little numbers because in the book they ha do have numbers. So yeah, this is this deck. It's pretty large. The cardstock is not what you might dream about, but yeah, it's, oh yeah, you can see. It's like a very special deck because it's basically the only Polish Slavic deck on the market available. So, so thank you, Asha, for this present. Uh, where's the bag? Oh, here. And lastly, I wanted to share with you this set. Of decks so it's called the Lenormand double because this lady who wrote these two books and I'm telling you these are like solid two volumes on Lenormand so this is um, Lenormand chatting with the cards by Christina Voynar and the first volume is uh, generally about all the cards, how you read her own experiences, which I love reading about. And the second one is entirely about reading Grand Tableau. It's really impressive. I'm reading this now and, and I'm loving it because it's very down to earth and warm at the same time. And she's sharing her experience. So it's really nice and it's also very a very rare position because she self-published it the deck and uh, and the books so you could basically only order from her not from any store and um, how I uh, learned about these was through like being a member of a Polish Lenormand group 
on Facebook. And otherwise I wouldn't have known. And this is great material. And this is also a cool deck. So, you know how, for example, in Chiro Marchetti's um, Lenormand deck, you have some additional cards. She also did that. So her deck is 40 cards. Again, very Polish with the stork. Storks! <laughs> and um, she explains, of course, she explains them all. Including, like, if you did the uh, Grand Tableau for 40 cards, how you would read it. And the other one, I didn't get around to using it yet, actually. But the other deck is, um, like, to make your uh, reading more, like... She explains it like it's more adjusted to our everyday, modern, everyday life. So let's look at the cards. They are proper Lenormand size, so they are not too big. So you can actually use them in a Grand Tableau. Which you cannot say about all decks that are on the market. But yeah, they're so pretty bags with the sunflower. And... Yeah, they have this. They have this matte finish. So this is the rider. See, the modern approach. And the clover, the ship. Yeah, they're like very clear images for the cards. The clouds, the snake, the coffin, the child, and so on. So there are some additional ones. So if you're interested, I could I could do a walkthrough. And this is the additional deck. Ooh. And it has it has like um, yeah, she marked them somehow with with zodiac signs. And there are categories, so like um, uh, professions, and I don't remember everything right now. But yeah, there's there's like forty additional cards. Yeah, these are professions. See, and she explains them all in her book. And interest, an interesting thing. It might be a crossover from other divinatory systems. I don't know exactly which. It might be Kipper or Sibylla. I'm not an expert, so I might be mixing things up. But she has like like different types of um, like and ages of uh, women and men. <laughs> this is Pierce Brosnan. Let's be honest. And yeah, a sad lady or a lady in mourning. And the same goes for this gentleman. So yeah, so it's pretty interesting and exciting. I can give you also like an overlook on the deck. Here at the back of the book, it's in the color. Can I give you? Yeah, it fits more or less in the cam camera. So this is the basic deck. I love these, look at the fox and the bear. And this is the basic deck and this is the additional one. And yeah, you can see that she had a, someone uh, draw these um, like portraits because there's no, in the photo, pictures there is no um, face of anyone there she avoided like showing anyone's face even the child is with their head back to us what I'm not sure about is like for example for uh, the anchor is it the anchor am I right I th wait a minute <laughs> now I'm confused what did she do here 
but yeah, she used the bees here. Yeah, so the fish is uh, just credit card and money, which is uh, maybe a bit limiting for me. And for the anchor, she used the bees as for work. Mm, well, but as she states at the beginning of the book, it's like, if you've learned something else before, you don't have to like change it. You just you just can you know expand on your knowledge and just yeah read some suggestions and decide on your own because she's all for you going your own intuitive way. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed these. Please let me know and have a lovely day. Bye.